Hello there. Thanks for dropping by. My name is Fons Fagan, and today I want to tell you about PetroEd's Introduction to Petroleum Geology and Geophysics course. This is a one-day course designed for anybody who wants to know more about the oil and gas business. It's suitable for professionals in many fields beyond the petroleum sector, including investors, financial advisors, analysts, lawyers, government regulators, environmental workers, community leaders, and the general public. The science of petroleum geology began to develop in the late 1800s. As people who were drilling for oil and gas started to notice that certain patterns observed in the rocks were useful in predicting the success of the drill bit. Geologists quickly developed skills in mapping surface features and in correlating rock layers from one well to another. But for those who wanted to get an image of the subsurface between the wells, or where no wells had yet been drilled, some new methods were needed. And this is where geophysics came in. Petroleum geophysics is the application of physical principles such as magnetism, gravity, and acoustics to produce images of the subsurface. Although in my Introduction to Petroleum Industry course I give one lecture on geology and geophysics, in this course I go much, much deeper. So in the next couple of minutes, I'll give you a quick rundown of the course content. When initiating a discussion of geology, it can be difficult to decide just where to begin. So in this course, I take you right back to the mysterious beginnings of the universe and explain how, according to current theories, the galaxies, stars, and planets came to be. This will launch us into a discussion of the formation and the composition of the Earth itself, and from there we'll be in a position to understand plate tectonics, which is the fundamental theory behind the modern understanding of geology. After that, we we'll learn about rocks and minerals, and the creation of sedimentary basins. The world contains many different types of sedimentary basins, with some types being more favorable for petroleum than others. Here, you learn about the key factors needed for a successful petroleum system. There are a broad range of geophysical methods used by the petroleum industry, and we are going to discuss a number of them here. But it is seismic reflection data that is by far the most important tool in choosing well locations. In this course, you will learn some of the basic physics behind this method, how the data is acquired, and how it is processed. To interpret seismic data, it must be integrated with the known geology. And I'll explain how this is done using such tools as synthetic seismograms and vertical seismic profiles. In the final analysis, we must bring together all of the geological, geophysical, and engineering data so that we can create maps, cross-sections and subsurface models that incorporate all of the known information. But, since there are still always a great number of unknowns, we actually have to use probabilistic methods to estimate reserves and resources. The whole process, running from exploration right through to development, is a fascinating journey involving the skills of a broad range of experts. And with well costs that can run from the tens into the hundreds of millions of dollars per well, there's a lot on the line. So it's important that all parties at the table have a basic understanding of the science behind the decision making, and that's what this course is all about. So that was just a quick summary, but these were really just the highlights. There's much, much more. So drop me a line or give me a call. The scheduling of the course and the outline of the course is available on my website. So with that, thanks for your time and best of luck in all that you strive for. Cheers.